This is episode two of the Healthy Lifestyle series. And today I want to talk about something very important that a lot of us tend to overlook, but it is crucial in living a healthy lifestyle. That is reading labels. It's very, very important for you to be reading the labels of everything you buy. And this is something a lot of us don't do. Please start reading your labels. Here's the thing, not every processed food is unhealthy. That's the basic fact. Some foods need to be processed before they can be eaten. And you know, cooking is a form of processing. Blending is a form of processing. Grinding is a form of processing. So we can't say, oh, totally unprocessed food. It's not possible. We process food to be able to eat it. And there are some foods that they are preserved in cans, they are preserved in bottles. There are some condiments we use that are preserved in bottles and in so many ways. But the important thing is to know what is inside those foods. That is where reading labels come in. See, I went to buy, I went to the supermarket to stock up on things. Now, you can't say this is unhealthy simply because it's inside a can. No. What you need to see is what is inside. This was not the only brand of chickpeas I saw in the supermarket, but this was the only brand that when I read the label had only chickpeas and water. Finish, nothing else. You see the importance of that. Others that I saw, they had so many other things added that I did not know. I did not guys in. Why should I buy those ones? That's why you need to read your labels. See, the other time, when people were talking about uh, uh, soy sauce, soy sauce, soy sauce and everything. Normally, I don't even use soy sauce to cook. But I, I, I now got interested because a lot of people were messaging me. Do I know of a healthy soy sauce and everything? And when I went to the supermarket, I went searching and I read the label on this one. What does it have? Water, soybeans, wheat, salt. Finish. No other preservatives is even written, no preservatives added traditionally brewed. And when I bought it and I showed people and said, oh, this is a soy sauce that I saw, a healthier option. A lot of people who message me that, ah, yes, that's the one they use. It's healthy and everything doesn't have anything added. Read your labels. I'm begging you please be reading labels it's important there are a lot of things you will not buy if you read the labels have you tried to pick up a, any common biscuit and read the label the ingredients listed there are some ingredients that read like an epistle i bake biscuits i can tell you the biscuit does not have more than five or six ingredients regular biscuit a, a, a biscuit i bake at home so why will your own biscuits be having 22 ingredients? There are so many things you will not buy, you will not give your children if you read labels. I've taught my son, he reads labels. There's nothing you will give him, he will pick it up and start reading. Ah, mommy, it has this, mommy, it has this. It's not healthy. He drops it. Teach your children to read labels and explain to them, please. And it's not even just only labels, manuals. You know, I'm always telling you, read your manual. You will buy a gadget. You will not even read the manual to know how to operate it, to know what to do and what not to do. And then you will use it. That's what makes many of you for things not to last in your hands. If you know how I use gadgets and then even still give it to people because I read manuals and know how to use it well. Even up till post, many of you will not read caption. Information that is already captured in the caption, you will still be asking it as a question again. Do you know many times when I see things like that, my immediate response is disappointment in the person that, ah, uh ah, -uh. so you are part of those that don't read. He doesn't speak well of you. Learn to read. Read things. That's why we are also still begging many of you to be reading the Bible because you have a culture of not reading. It's not good. That's why the Bible says my people perish for lack of knowledge. 
knowledge is out there information is out there but no because you don't read you don't have access to these things please let that change reading is important in a healthy lifestyle you read to get information about what is good what is not good you read labels to know information of what is contained in what you are eating many of you will just say oh they said this drink is sugar free yes it's sugar free but what what was used to replace the sugar what else is added into it apart from that sugar read your label that is how you will know it's not possible to live a healthy lifestyle if you if you live reading out of it and i'm just i'm using reading in general right now reading information on posts reading information on gadgets reading information on products read 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 please it's very important the lord will help you in the mighty name of jesus you will not glory in ignorance no you will be one of those knowledgeable who will seek knowledge pursue it know better and do better to the glory of the lord in jesus name i'll see you again tomorrow